I recently did a retrofit probably about a year ago on my truck and I wanted to post this video. This video is probably probably about a year old and the, the volume on the on the on this particular part of the video is not really good. But this is really just breaking down the headlights. I took it all apart. I added a new projector. I, I'm going to add a, LED, a new LED board and I'm also going to paint the headlights. You'll I'll do another video showing you guys just a little bit of the projector inside of the housing and I'll show you guys what I how I painted the housing on the headlight too and then I'll show you guys the LED board that I added to the headlight so stay tuned for that but, but right now let's go ahead and get started I'll show you guys a breakdown of the headlight so this is the cover for the rear of the housing so in order to change any bulbs you'll have to take this off it has five number eights All you have to do is just unbolt them, pull it off, and you'll see this right here. Now, keep in mind, mine's going to be a little different because, one, I just did a retrofit. Two, I just did a retrofit, so, you know, it's, just a little, it's going to look a little bit different. The projector I added has a high-low beam. So, really quick, as I mentioned, I did this video a while back. So, just so you know, I added a projector for this retrofit. The projector that came with this truck had a high low beam function too. So in order for me to run the high beam for the reflector side of the headlight, I had to take the plug for it to plug into my new projector. And then I had to get a splitter to run both of them. If you don't have that splitter, in the daytime, your headlights will be off. And if you go to flash your high beam, nothing will happen, no light will come out because that high beam's not working. So I, that's what I was explaining. So I wanted to kind of point it out for you so you're not confused. So I have to add a splitter in order to run my my actual high beam because the the stock projector actually was a high and low beam and the housing actually only had a plug. So basically this is the plug for the high and low beam for the for the OEM. And in order for me to have a high beam for my projector I had to use the high beam for the halogen. The reason why I'm telling you this is if you don't have that this high beam here working right here you basically won't have a high beam because in order for you to have a high beam over here this projector has to be on so just keep that in mind so if you need to flash someone in the daytime you need to have a splitter in order to have both sides working because the projector will not light up because the HID only has like a, it has like a flap that drops down to give you a high beam so like I said, moving on to the next one in the front, you're gonna have your your housing for the for the headlights and for the uh, LEDs. And this is pretty much what it's gonna look like when you take it apart. I had to clean some of that glue out of there, bottle glue, before I put the lens back on, which is the next one here. Pretty simple there. Just the lens just pops off. You just have to go at the sides here, and then eventually it'll just come right off. So. Just pulls some glue off right there. And moving down the line, you know, I call this a bezel, and that, this is what I'm gonna paint. And what's nice about this is this little projector shroud actually unbolts from this housing here. So you can actually paint, you know, different colors. I'm thinking about painting this silver and just leaving this alone. But I just paint it, I'll, sh I'll give you guys a, a look at what I'm doing downstairs, but I don't know if it'll look good with the chrome with the silver. So I may have to paint both of them silver and be done. But this right here is the housing for the LEDs. Now these are the stock LEDs here. So what I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna pull these off and I wanna add a switchback board. That way I'll have a, a white amber light and it'll be a switchback there. So this of course is the reflector for the LEDs. You do not wanna paint this. So be sure, you know, you, know, you put this aside I probably need to clean this off too. So, just to give you a quick background, I've already I've always had the projector. This is a Morimoto 4.0 high and low beam projector from the Retrofit Source. I added this in a while back. I just wanted to leave everything stock, but unfortunately, I kept getting fogging issues, and it was because I didn't install this back correctly. So I had to order some clamps to hold it down. So that's pretty much what I have to. That's why I have it all apart again. So now this time around. I'm going to paint it, make it look a little bit different. 
and, you know it's a lot of work to take them apart so i just want to do something a little different to make me feel better about myself so again don't paint this this is reflecting housing for the leds and lastly you have this uh this piece that goes this is just a a cover for the leds to make it look nice pretty much that's it everything that's within the housing that you see here from the shroud over to this little projector shroud here all of this has a t tinge a torch screw that you have to use to unbolt these though that's really all you need you know like i said you have a number eight for the back of the you know the, for the back cover there and this is just really to help anyone who's thinking about doing this project that way you can get a, a good idea of what how everything comes apart here it's pretty easy just take your time these things are very fragile i kind of cracked my amber reflector over there so not it's, you can't really tell but just just be careful this this stuff is very you know fragile i'm pretty sure you can find replacement parts but it's better just to not have to deal with that so like i guess i hope you guys like the video uh, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments and please like and subscribe thank you